students in our last class we had done the explanation of this chapter and some exercises now today we have to do question answers of this lesson let us start start the first question note down define the terms nutrient roughage balanced diet i repeat first nutrient second roughage third balanced diet note down the answers first nutrient useful substances present in the food are called nutrient i repeat useful substances present in the food are called nutrient second roughage the fiber present in the food the fiber present in the food is called roughage it has no nutritive value it has no nutritive value but it has in the removal of but it has in the removal of waste materials from the body third balanced diet the diet that contains all the nutrient water and rough base i repeat the diet that contains all the nutrient water and rough base in the right amount is called a balanced diet then now note down the second question note down the second question are the food requirements same for all human beings explain with two examples i repeat the question are the food requirements same for all human beings explain with two examples write down the answer no the food requirements are not same for all human beings for example first a laborer who does physical work i repeat a laborer who does physical work need energy he should eat he should eat more of energy giving food energy giving food means carbohydrate second older people are not very active older people are not very active and need less energy i repeat the whole answer no the food requirements are not same for all human beings for example first a laborer who does physical work needs energy he should eat more of energy giving food carbohydrate second older people are not very active and need less energy done to the third question now start question number 3 why should roughage be included in our daily diet i repeat why should roughage be included in our daily diet write down the answer roughage is the fiber roughage is the fiber present in the food present in the food which cannot be digested 
by our body it has no nutritive value it has no nutritive value however it has in however it helps in cleaning the undigested food from the body undigested food from the body so we should eat fresh fruits whole grains vegetables and salad which contain a lot of fiber which contain a lot of fiber i repeat the whole answer roughage is the fiber present in the food which cannot be digested by our body it has no nutritive value however it helps in cleaning the undigested food from the body so we should eat fresh fruits whole grains vegetables and salad which contain a lot of fiber then now come on fourth question question number 4 why is water essential for the body why is water essential for the body answer water is essential for the body because water is essential for the body because first point it helps in the removal of the waste it helps in the removal of the waste from the body second point it helps to maintain the body temperature it helps to maintain the body temperature third point it helps in digestion of food it helps in digestion of food i repeat the three points again first it helps in the removal of the waste from the body second it helps to maintain the body temperature third it helps in digestion of food Question number five: How can you prevent wastes of food? How can you prevent wastes of food? Answer: We can prevent wastes of food as follows. First, always plan the cooking. Food is precious and should not be wasted. always plan the cooking food is precious and should not be wasted second never leave food uneaten on the plate serve sufficient food which you can eat question number 6 distinguish between carbohydrates and protein distinguish between carbohydrates and protein carbohydrates first it provide energy to work play and study etc second these are called energy giving food third for example potato banana bread rice etc 
protein first it has to build new cells and repair the damaged cells in our body second these are called body building foods third for example milk egg cheese fish pulses etc now we have to do some hot question note on the first question why is rahul advised to eat a diet rich in protein where as his father is not i repeat why is rahul advised to eat a diet rich in protein where as his father is not answer rahul is young and needs more energy giving food and proteins to grow well question number second rita's mother advises her to eat apples with the skin why rita's mother advises her to eat apples with the skin why the skin of the apple contains fiber which is rough and helps in the removal of waste material from the body the skin of the apple contains fiber which is rough and helps in the removal of waste material from the body now the question answers are over and giving one activity just for fun to you note down this question draw one picture each of these food you have to draw one picture each of these food on your copy note down first carbohydrate rich food any food any example you can take and draw second protein rich food third eat fat rich food fourth vitamin rich food five mineral rich food you have to draw one one picture of each okay friends thank you now we are going to conclude this chapter and in our next class we will discuss the second chapter of science